Now let's take a look at using transitions in iMovie HD. So we're going back to editing and now next to titles is the transitions. And transitions are basically a way to fade in, fade out, or show some kind of passage of time. So typically when you go from one scene to another scene, you may want to use a transition. Use them sparingly. If people use too many transitions, it can make a video look very messy. So you should have a transition for a reason. Typically at the very beginning and the very end of your video, and if you want to show that time has passed. So iMovie has some options. They're not great, but let's take a look at them. So we've got the billow effect. We've got circle closing and circle opening. Obviously some of these are going to work better with certain videos than others. So disintegrate for this might actually be kind of cool. Fade in, fade out are the classics. Usually it's fading in or out from black, whereas wash in, wash out is fading in, fading out from white. So we've got lots of different options here, and there's a few different ways to work with transitions, but the way that I like to do it is, in my opinion, the easier way. Um, the first thing you'll need to do, of course, is select your transition. So what do you want to use it for? Maybe I want to, in my actual video clip here, I have a title, The Haunted House, and then that title next goes into the maybe the opening scene for my movie showing this haunted house. So maybe I want to like fade in or do some kind of transition in between my title and my first scene. So of course, as you guys saw, we can do some previews here. I actually kind of like disintegrate. I might also just use a classic, the fade in. So if I were just to use fade in, that's a pretty simple one. Down here, I can choose the speed. So basically, the longer the speed, the slower the fade, the slower the transition, or I can make it really fast. So when you are doing a transition, it's basically grabbing a little bit of the video that you have. So be careful if your video clip is too short. So this is pretty easy. If I just want to do a fade in, I just drag it into the spot that I want it. It takes a second for it to render and then I want to play it. Now be careful when this is just blue because if I play it, it's only going to play it up until that blue ends. So if you want to see the whole thing, you have to click off of it. So now let's watch that whole thing together. A slow, pretty nice, simple fade. Now I could try a different type of transition which is the disintegrate, which is going to pull a little bit of the video from the title clip into the video from my haunted house. So here I want to play around a little bit with the speed. How fast do I want it to disintegrate or how slow? So I might want to mess around with that and I'm just going to drag it down in between the two clips. Let that render. And I'm just going to rewind this whole thing and just see how it looks all together. Looked okay, but I almost feel like there's too much movement going on in the title with the disintegrate as well. So I think I prefer just this very simple classic fade in. So I'm going to set that to be a little bit longer, drag that back in there, save it, and call it good. If you're having problems with the transition not applying, you might get an error message saying that the clip is too short. You may need to make your transition shorter or longer, or sometimes it just doesn't work if the clip you're attaching it to, especially if you're connecting two together, is too short. And always, always watch the final product and make sure that it looks right. Because in the preview, you don't always get the best view.